Hello, welcome to the first Love the Night Sky YouTube video. I'm going to start doing more of these and try and make it really regular. And I'm going to be doing a mixture of product reviews, and we'll come to these little boys in a minute, and how-to videos. So I could be out there showing you how to set up your telescope this time next week, and then back here again in a couple of weeks' time, doing some more eyepieces or a laser collimator or something like that. Anyway, bear with me, brand new video, brand new camera, brand new microphone, hopefully the quality is bearable and for now let's jump into the review. What I've got here then is three eyepieces and a Barlow, that's the Barlow from Celestron's XL LX range of eyepieces. It's a mid-tier range giving a wide field of view, so 60 degree field of view. And I have got the 12 millimeter eyepiece, the seven millimeter eyepiece, and the 2.3 millimeter eyepiece. I've also got the 2X Barlow. Now, each of these eyepieces is fully multi-coated, so helps with light transmission, and they are also at par focal, which means I can take this one out and put this one into my telescope and not need to refocus my telescope um, when I've changed the eyepiece. So the big question then is, what did I think of them? Well, I've tested them over two nights. The first night I managed to take a look at Andromeda Galaxy through them uh, before clouds overtook and we've been in the midst of low pressures, cloud and rain pretty much daily for two or three weeks now, so it's been hard to get outside. And then just a couple of nights ago, I managed to get out uh, just before the full moon uh, have a look at Saturn and I had a look at the Ring Nebula and I've also pointed them at the moon. And do you know what? Overall, really impressed. The telescope that I use them in is a Skywatcher. It's only a six inch, it's a Newtonian. It's a fairly standard backyard piece of kit um, and does the job for me even though I lust after something much bigger as I guess we all do. The one that didn't work for me because of the telescope it's being used in is the 2.3 mil. That gives a massive amount of magnification and my six inch aperture just can't cope with it. It left everything uh, particularly dim and even the, even the really bright moon showed me very little in the way of detail. So hard for me to give a fair and objective view on the 2.3 millimeter. I also struggled with the Barlow lens, not so much in using it, and the quality was fine, but similar problem to the 2.3. Actually, the, the reduction in light coming through when I coupled this with either the 12 or the seven millimeter eyepieces made it not beneficial for me. Even on the moon, it was, it was just okay. I certainly wouldn't be parting with my cash for that with my telescope. However, both of these with a big telescope, you've got a 10, 12 inch Dobsonian light bucket may well be excellent. And I say that advisedly off the back of these two. So looking through the 12 and the seven mil, you do get a massive chunk of sky in your view and it is crystal clear. I put both of them through their paces looking at a uh, pinpoint light of stars, found very little comma as we got to the edge of the viewing field. Um, on the brightness of the moon, there was no chromatic aberration or virtually no chromatic aberration, certainly nothing that detracted from the view. And I got really nice view of the ring nebula, even though I'm in quite a light 
quite a light sky and I was observing it as an almost full moon rose and I was still getting nice clear picture. Um, Andromeda, they showed off wonderfully. The seven millimeter really uh, filled the view piece. Uh, again, I just found myself wishing for more light coming in, but the, the quality was wonderful. And so in terms, of, in terms of viewing prowess, yeah, no complaints, really, really nice piece of kit. So what did I think in terms of usage? So in terms of usage, I, yeah, I, I really like them. The, uh, my favourite piece, I think, is the adjustable eye cup. That movement, rather than just like the standard flick up that we're all used for, actually that spin, that twist that gives the, gives the depth, was lovely. And being able to fix just the right depth for me to rest my eye on, I, I really enjoyed. And that played nicely as the eyepieces changed one for the other. I needed a different eye relief for each of those eyepieces. And being able to set it uh, in, a, in a fairly permanent basis worked really well for me. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, the feel is good. They feel robust, they feel strong. The nice nil rubber grip just means they're not going anywhere. And the, um, the ridge in the element that goes into your telescope just grips on very nicely with the thumb screws and reduces that risk that you're going to have an accident whereby a, an eyepiece falls out accidentally. Uh, these are par focal eyepieces which means when I change that one out for that one I shouldn't need to refocus my telescope. That was pretty much true between the 12 and the 7 there was a tiny bit of adjustment to be made but, but nothing to write home about. I did, I did have two or three attempts with the 2.3 millimeter eyepiece and swapping from the 7 to the 2.3 that there was quite a bit of focus adjustment needed. That was, um, uh, that was tough to say that they were genuinely par focal between those two. But do you know what, overall, uh, really, really good pieces of kit and I'd, I'd be very happy to have particularly the 7 millimeter eyepiece in my kit. I felt, the, I felt the 12, in a lot of ways, I felt the 12 gave me too much of a view. Saturn was just a pinprick in the middle of the field. And when it came to something that was larger, like the moon, for example, only filled about half the field, if that. So if that's the, if that's the circle of the entire field of view, the moon just sat there. Which, do you know, it's a nice image, but it's not fantastic for observing. And uh, Andromeda as well. It, it just, it, it captured it, but almost over-captured it for the amount of light coming into the telescope. So for me, I would absolutely part with my cash for the 7mm. I, I wouldn't turn down having the 12 in my, in my range, but the 2.3, just, just too pokey for my little six inch telescope. Overall though, fantastic range. Really, really enjoyed using it. The, the quality of the view through the eyepiece, phenomenal, particularly for the price they are. Um, and I strongly recommend, recommend them to you. If you've got the money to bolster your eyepiece range with the LX eyepieces, then I, I strongly recommend it but just pay close attention to how much light you've got coming into your telescope that you can make use of. Okay, so that's the end of the first review on the Love the Night Sky YouTube channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. It'd be great to see your comments listed below this video. Um, I'll reply to as many as I can. And thanks for taking the time to watch this far. The full review of these is on the website and I will post a link below as well so you can read that at your leisure. All the best, clear skies.